What is up, you guys? It's your boy Grim back with a video, and they are here. They are back, baby. The miners, in fact, Indominus Rex coming on this base with the mass miners. Now, I would not recommend doing this strategy on every single talent 10. No, don't do it. It's not going to work on every single town hall 10. Very base specific, rather, in these tier two uh, town halls that you come in on with it. But he comes in with the queen walk over here at the six and the king at the nine. And as you can see, he's just setting up the funnel for the miners to pour right into the seven o'clock compartment. He got some healers right behind the queen, keeping her alive. King is taking care of the nine, taking out some trash. Soon enough, miners right here will be coming into play. Yes, here they come. They're gonna try to pour right into that Disco Inferno, but he's got storages right there. So rather than just going right into the Disco to take care of it right away, they straight off towards the storage having those high profile buildings surrounding the disco inferno can really a disaster for the miners lay down the double poi for the loom got to take out the loom because he could drop them bombs on top of your miners and take them out but i think if he had a giant bomb right here and then maybe even a tombstone really could have prevented this three star from happening but yes miners are making a comeback to a degree for town hall 10 is able to lay down the mass miners for him so he's got two more heals left gonna lay down at the 12 and close to this disco inferno once these high miners make it through the core but yeah so he has the storages i would think maybe adding another storage around that area just to really prevent these miners from making it to the disco inferno then maybe even a scale uh, like i said a tombstone he does have the giant bomb which does hurt but if he had a tombstone right there really couldn't can distract those miners from taking out that disco inferno so just a few more buildings left and this one is done dot for shot but yes miners are here and they are making a presence but I think, you know, once the base meta catches up a little bit more, we're starting to see uh, different CC comps instead of just Hound Loon as far as CWL goes. Instead of just Hound Loon, we're starting to see more of a variety of CC, and that will prevent miners from three-star in the base having something else rather than just the Hound Loon. But very nice job coming up from our boy Indominus Rex with the mass miners. Oh! The more 10 on 10 action coming up from our boy Alex with the Queen Walk Mass Dragon. Oh, absolutely love this attack, man. How he conquered this base. Coming in with the Queen over there at the 530 with some healers right behind her. Got the King at the 6 along with a bowler. And take a look at the massive value he's able to get out of this King just following the Queen. That way she wraps over towards the 3. Got a minion on the drill. That way she gets funneled right into that 3 o'clock wall compartment right there. Going to take care of 3 ADs with the Queen and then a Hound to tank for the last and final one over there at the seven. So King, along with one bowler, getting massive value at him, taking out a lot of trash. Actually going to take a lot out over there at that nine o'clock compartment. That way he can lay down the dragon. So he lays down the first rage for the queen, keeping her alive. Test wall breaker getting laid down. Testing for any mini bombs or any spring traps that might be right there. More coming in, busting right in, bam! Get right into that three o'clock apartment, and Queen is gonna take care of all this right here, along with three ADs. Dragons will take care of the rest. So he pops that king ability along with a baby dragon over there at the nine, taking care of some more trash. Soon as he wraps around, clearing that out, gonna lay down the dragons. Lays down another rage, keeping her alive. One rage will be let down for no, no, two rages will be let down for the drag. So take a look at this. Lays down the helm. Tanking for the drag. Streams of fire coming out the disco, but no pressure for the drag. Gonna lay down that rage. Just bust right through a heel to replenish them back up. Keep them moving into that Tesla farm. Third and final rage. Gonna get let down for the drags. Oh, I absolutely love it. Let, look how he just keeps the drags all in a certain sector. Funneling with the queen, taking out this bottom right-hand side half right there. And drags just stay up top. But man, that massive king walk, getting great value. Taking out a massive amount of this base and letting the drags take in the rest. But yes, very nice job coming in for our boy Alex with the queen walk mass drag attack. Oh! This next one coming up from our boy Fierce. Coming in with the Queen Walk Lalo. Got 21 loons. Four healers. Going to let down the king over here at the six. And the queen right beside him. He's going to work left. And then she's going to work off to the right. Wizzy on the barracks just to funnel her right into the six o'clock. To get to two ADs. The Wizzy Archer and an Infernal. Oh! 
absolutely love it notice he has four healers he's gonna wait till the queen starts taking damage then he let down the healers to make sure they focus in on her instead of the other troops so giant nice job doing some tanking test wall breaker gets right into the wall see if there's any mini bombs there's no mini bombs go ahead and lay down the rest of the wall breakers bust right through bam there you go giant is actually going to do a lot of tanking but lays down the rage amping up the dps and the healer factor here goes the queen ability pop there she go take out the infernal hound and loon come out the cc lays down the poi slowing down the enemy queen and getting rid of the loon gonna have to lay down another rage to speed the process up of taking this dog out because that's what could really slow down a queen walk the dog being in the cc and then the pups being spawned but the queen is no pressure gonna take them out with ease dogs are gonna be coming in from the left hand side with the loons lays down the second poise slowing down the queen again making sure she's gonna get right into that core take out the air sweeper man got maximum value out of that giant oh i love it man here comes the dog over here at the seven tanking for the loons lays down the haze quick and the pace of the loons get right into that tesla farm another loon coming in over at the nine dog coming in at the 10 more loons strategically placed over there at the 12 absolutely love it man take out the funnel loons just slowly creeping in on the base and then these loons right here are gonna speed themselves right to that disco because the defenses up here are being already already being taken out so here we go lays down the heel replenish them back up into the green haste gets let down dog doing some nice tanking and there you have it man beautiful absolutely beautiful strategically placed loons and this lalo is getting it done right with the three star man oh now as we get further and further into this stuff, we're not going to see lalo as much i believe because hogs along with miners are really starting to take over man plus the mass drag man you see the drag is doing work man so lalo they got the nerf the loons got the nerf so we're going to see that less and less i think not that it's not going to disappear not by any means we're still going to see it but they're kind of getting put on the back burner with hogs and uh um, Miners being so powerful right now. So very nice job coming in from our boy Fear showing us how to do this Queen Walk Lalo attack. Oh! Ooh, take a look at that, man. It's beautiful. All that green has some high-profile clans underneath our belt here at Born as Goes, but then Immoral Reapers. Oh! Bringing it to a screeching halt, 78 to 80, beating us by two stars. This was going to be our eighth war win streak. But Immoral Reapers, man, shout out to you guys. Crushed it with the 11v10 game, man. Those dips, they had it down, man. Bringing the mass Dragon. Shout out to you guys. Uh, hope to rematch you guys soon here in the future. But stay tuned. MLCW Season 4 starts this Friday. So stay tuned for the recap on the wars with that. First one starts this Friday. I forget who we're facing. I forget the clan name. But I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Hope you like the video. Share it with your friends. Stay flexing, my boys. Peace.